seek your clarification on the communication that you gave, especially on the lapse of business. Yes. And this is specific to questions. Yes. Being that this is a new model where we have the cabinet secretaries come here and answer questions. And my question and clarification, Mr. Speaker, is that what happens if you file a question and there is no other interest? And I say that because I filed a question to the cabinet secretary for gender, culture and arts in April last year. But there has been no other member interested to warrant the CS to come. Why would I be disenfranchised as a member because I was queuing to actually kill that business, yet it was not responded to? I would like your clarification on that, Mr. Speaker. Yes. Majority Leader, you've heard what uh, the Honorable Member for Gilgil has said, that in bringing ministers to this House, it matters not how many questions have been filed. I think give each dog an opportunity to have a bite. So bring ministers regardless of the number of questions so that each minister can come and face the house and supplementaries may arise therefrom. So that, uh, of course, priority gives, goes to those with heavy questions and many questions, but even those with one question like Wangare's question, you can edge them in for 10, 15 minutes, they finish, then you go to the ones with more questions. Yes, uh, Jeanette, you have a point of order? Yeah. Go ahead. Mr. Speaker, I am guided fully by your direction on the earlier matter of the CDF. Yes. But Mr. Speaker, you are also right that we need to have the House Business Committee so that we get into motion, Yes. so that we can do business of the House. Mr. Speaker, the fear of the members is that, uh, if I may bring it to your attention, is that once House gets into business as, as supposed to be, the executive will not honor their word, they will not keep their word, yes. it will be business as usual. Yes. And some of the reasons why the members are raising this matter ahead of the constitution of the House Business Committee is actually to paralyze the House so that members can get their CDF in time and money can be released to those accounts, Mr. Speaker. So I don't know, Mr. Speaker, how those fears will be allayed. Because if we go back into business as required, because this is the first day of our meeting, yeah. of our sitting, then it will be business as usual also for the Treasury Minister. And you will assume that Parliament now is sitting normal. What is this, what is this message that we can send to him that we are serious on this matter and we will not relent, Mr. Speaker? And one of the, the things that members have agreed upon to be as a whip that I can bring to your attention is to paralyze the House once and for all, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, don't allow the House business motion to be moved until money is released to the account of the CDF, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Jeanette, you know one of the most important strategic thinking components is you must choose your battles very carefully. If you want to do what you're saying you want to do, paralyze a properly constituted house. There's no point paralyzing a house that is not a house yet. Because if you do that, even if you want to frog match the minister here, to flog him and grill him and do whatever you want with him, he cannot come because you'll not be properly constituted. So choose your battles very carefully. So what I have, I have a letter which I'll share with the, the majority and minority leaders uh, from the minister dated 9th January uh, 2024 to Mr. Speaker detailing how they intend to disburse your funds and now it's up to them to also do a follow-up. I'll ask the clerk to pass it on to them. The speaker is not in the habit of reading letters written to him or to the, on the floor of the house. The letter will be shared between the leader of the majority party and the leader of the minority party. After the, we consider the house business committee, I'll give them more direction on what to do. Yes, uh, Dr. Makali Mulu. 
Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I want to start.